Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are starting a new stationary empties video. These are videos inspired by Anna from Girl and Quill, where I basically show you all the journals I've completed um, throughout the year, as well as any sort of stationary items that I've used up. I just think these are really satisfying to watch and it's interesting to see like how much of my stash I'm actually using up rather than hoarding um, throughout the year. So we're just gonna get right into it. I have a whole playlist of the first and second videos. If you wanna go check it out, it'll be linked in the description. So the first thing I have is this pack of black gel pens. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I love these gel pens. These are just from the dollar store, and I finished this pack of 12. And then I also have this sheet of Sadie Sticker stickers. Um, uh, yeah, I use these in my journal, so I thought I would just show them here. This was really pretty. If you can still see, there's like some gold foil in it, and I really loved using them. The next thing I have is my 11th journal. This is a journal from Paper Shire. If you'd like to get one of your own, um, because as you can see, it's so pretty. I will leave my... Um, Referral code for 10% off your first order in my description. And yeah, this was my 11th journal. It's so thick. I'll be filming the flip through shortly, so you will see that eventually on my channel. And then we're going to get into my macaron box of all the things I used up. There's actually quite a bit of stuff this month, or not this month. Um, I should mention today is June 8th. Okay, so I finished two of my favorite black gel pens. And I also wrote, looks like, three letters. These are from the envelopes when I peel it off to stick it um, and close it. I also have, what's this? Um, some sheets of stickers from the Prairie Planner. These go, whoa, a lot of stuff in here. These go in my sticker planner, so I finished these. I also have some US stamps. Finished a sheet of six. And, okay, let's take a look. I have a sheet of stickers from my own shop and a sheet of stickers from Hello Honey Paper Co. And let's see. Oh, I have some glitter headers that I used in my sticker planner. And I also did finish quite a few washi samples. So let's take all of those. I think that's it. So here we are. I have these two whoops, tags, as well as this tag, this tag, and this tag. All of these had washi samples on them, and I finished all of them. I've really been trying to use up my washi samples recently, so this is great. And then looks like the rest is all stickers. I have another sheet of stickers from Hello Honey Paper Co. And I also have, um, I think this was from a printable sheet of stickers. And everything else looks like um, sticker flakes and the backings of like single stickers. So that is, that is it for this part of the stationary empties video. Hi guys, welcome back to another empties part. Um, I actually don't have a lot of stuff right now, but I did have a bunch of sticker sheets. Um, so I thought I would just get it out of the way and do this. So recently, I am changed up the organization for a lot of my small shop stickers. Um, so I have this little like photo album that I used to put my planner stickers in, and I got a new album for my planner stickers. So I decided to put my um like stationery or like um my journaling and pen pal stickers into this little album. I just put a postcard on the front and back to decorate it, and then on the inside, you can see I just put in all the stickers. And so um I had a bunch of sticker sheets especially for my own shop, um, where I just had a few dot stickers left. So what I did was I took some, the backing of sticker paper. So I just peeled off this white part and I put all the extra stickers on them uh, or on the paper. And then I just put it inside these sleeves so that they were all in one place and really easy to see. Um, and also because these sheets are a little bit too big for this album. So yeah, I put a bunch of my dot stickers in here and just all my small shop stickers, most of them, not all of them. Um, so yeah, so I had a bunch of sticker sheets here that I emptied out. So let's just get right into it. Um, the first sheet I have is from the Prairie Planner. This is a sheet of planner stickers. And then I have a bunch from my own shop parchment and pens. So let me go through them. I have the Illuminate dots, Twilight dots, Terracin dots, Brown hexagons, To All the Boys or Love Letters dots. Um, I think this was the Cool Toned Post-its. Oh, and also the Warm Toned Post-its, I guess. The Rainbows and um, Pantone stickers volume one i think so yeah i i didn't really finish all these but i did um kind of reorganize them into my new system so these are empty and then i also reorganized a few drawn by leslie sheets so let me just figure it out okay um i have this sheet which is 013 and then this sheet 012 and then this sheet oops upside down uh 015 so yeah i finished finished all these drawn by leslie sheets and then I also made myself a bunch of planner stickers. Um, I think it goes this way. And so, yeah, you can see they kind of off cut up here. But yeah, the rest were fine. So I organized them all into my sticker book. And then in my little macaron box, I just have a few things. Nothing too crazy. 
Um, like I said, I haven't been collecting this for a while. Today is June 15th. Um, and yeah, so I have one of my favorite black gel pens. I have the peel and stick strip from a letter I wrote. Um, another sheet of stickers that I organized into my new collect, uh, not collection, organization. So this is from Happy Hippie Sticker Co. And then some more stickers, more stickers. Everything else here seems to be stickers. So that is all for this part. Hi guys, I'm back with another empties part. Today is June 22nd um, and I just have a bunch of empties to share with you all. So as you can see, there are a lot of rolls of washi here. And the reason for that um, is not because I actually finished them. Um, it's because I transferred a bunch of my washi tapes onto these old washi cards that I got from my other pen pals um, just to kind of like make it easier to store since obviously it's a lot harder to store this like rolls compared to this. Um, and yeah, so this just goes in my washi sample box, which is this box right here. This actually overflowing a little bit but it is a lot easier to store in here and go through it rather than having all these rolls so I did that for quite a few of my washies um let me just dump all this stuff out okay that was a lot of stuff um let's pick apart all the washi so here are some of them these are all from AliExpress from like those packs of 10 um, more washi more washi more washi oh my gosh okay there's actually a lot here and took me quite a while. Um, I also made samples for my pen pals while I was at it. But um, as you can see, I finished a lot of washi. And then, okay, these are the last few, I think. Um, okay, there we go. Um, other than that, all of this mostly just looks like stickers, except for this right here. This is just a peel and stick strip for a letter I wrote. Um, we have some sticker sheets for my shop, parchment and pens. I think I just put these into my sticker storage. I also have this sheet of really old smiley face stickers. I have some random sticker backing pieces, as you can see, a lot of them here. And then also this little sampler from Purple Panda Planner. So that is it for this little empties bit. I will see you guys in the next one. Hi guys, so I have another empties part for you all today. Um, I recently, like literally like two days ago, or yeah, two days ago, finished my 12th journal on June 30th. So um, yeah, today's July 2nd, so I wanted to film this empties part. So yeah, I finished this journal. This journal is from the dollar store, Dollarama. Super cute. Um, a flip through will be coming to my channel as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, let's look at my macaron box. We have lots of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay, let's see. So, um, looking at the big things, I have a Sharpie, a glue stick, and one of my favorite black gel pens. Very basic things. Um, we have more washi that I kind of decanted into my flat washi storage like this. So this was this washi tape. Um, there was not a lot left on it, so I just put it all onto this sample so I could store it easier. So yeah, we have that. And then we also have, let's see. Looks like three letters that I wrote. These are the peel and stick strips to seal the envelopes. And I also have some um, Canadian stamps. These are on a roll, so I finished, looks like 65 of them. Or like up to now, I finished 65. I have a little sheet of stickers from Scribble Prince Co. I have some stickers from the Prairie Planner. These are the YouTube icons in the pastel colorway. And I use these to mark all my YouTube videos in my sticker planner. So since I post three times a week, I use these up super fast. Um, oh, we have another black gel pen. These are my favorites from the dollar store. Um, it looks like I have a sheet of U.S. stamps. And let's see, let's see. Oh, we have a sheet of stickers from my shop, Valley's Paper Read. This looks like the, whoops, read script. You can check out my shop link down below. Um, we have more shit strips um more sheets of stickers from my other sticker shop parchment and pens these are the third color or the third version of my pantone stickers and this is one of my bookish quote stickers um we have some washi samples that i finished let's see if there's any more oh here so it looks like we have three washi samples i finished this one was from my pen pal heaven this one was from a happy meal like a long long time ago from summer and then this was I'm not sure who this one was from, but yeah, three of these tags. I always like to reuse these to either send out pen pal or to send out washi samples to my pen pals or to um, do this, like doing the decanting thing with my current washi samples or washi rolls. Other than that, it looks like this is all um, sticker backings, but there are a few that I want to mention. So these are kind of irrelevant. They're all just like washi stickers or regular little stickers. This one is actually a sticker that I used on my journal. Let me see if I can find it right here this was my this is my 13th journal so um 
this was the sticker backing for that. This is from Clovercraft Studio. You can use my code VAL10 to save. I will try to link her shop down below if I remember. And then this was a sticker um, that I got from a conference and I put in my journal. So I think that is it for this part of the empties video and I will see you guys in the next one. Actually, I know I just said that that was I'll see you guys in the next part, but I realized this is where I actually wanted to end off this empties video. So um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed and you actually like seeing all of my trash. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, not the next part. Okay, bye guys.